Hey guys, welcome to volume three of our open case PC build. Today, we're going to be upgrading some of the components in our case here. Like these NZXT fans are going to be getting swapped out as well as this Intel stock cooler here. If you guys haven't seen volume one and volume two, I will put a link in the description below. So make sure to check those out before watching this one. All right, let's see what we got for our case here. So these are two of the DS RGB LED fans. I actually got a set of these installed on my wife's PC. These are budget, but definitely decent for the price. So included, you got some zip ties, your RGB controller here, which is actually magnetic on one side. You can control up to nine RGB fans, as well as two LEDs. Our handy dandy remote here, which you can change the colors. Included was also a adhesive pad in case you cannot put this somewhere that's magnetic. A set of screws for your fan. And two LED RGB strips. Now this is magnetic on the back too, so this will work on most cases. However, since this is aluminum, I was not able to stick these to my case because it's science. And next we've got our CPU cooler. This is also from DS. This is their DS black CPU cooler. Now this thing was only 15 bucks because this is a budget build, but I was actually really surprised at the thermal temps that I was getting on the CPU. Now keep in mind, mine is an open frame PC case. So if yours is closed, it may vary. Also included, you're gonna have a bracket here that will fit the different Intel socket types, as well as the pins and pre-included thermal compound, which I never recommend. Personally, I use the Noctua NT-H1, which I will put in the description below. It's normally 12 bucks, but right now on sale for 7.90 on Amazon. Bam, bing. Now, as I said in my other videos, I wanted to add a little bit of something to this case since the stock cooler is looking a little sad. I do love the NZXT fans. However, with that clear acrylic there, I definitely felt it would be doing a disservice to this case if I didn't add a little bit of RGB to it. Now, here's a shot with them installed in the front. I think it looks pretty nice here. Next, we're going to be installing our RGB controller here. So this is either magnetic or double-sided tape. I use the double-sided tape on the back of the SSD to kind of keep things easier for cable management. The RGB strips are not able to stick to the case, like I mentioned before, because it's aluminum. However, it did fit right down the right way, which was pretty awesome. Second one, I'm going to stick down at the bottom. That way it'll illuminate uh, the bottom of the case, as well as our motherboard. And now to install our new CPU cooler. Remember, always take the sticker off the bottom and install thermal paste before you put this on. Just about a pea size should be okay for this. Now for 15 bucks, I was definitely a little worried. However, uh, I was pleasantly surprised with the temperatures that I was getting even at full load. Now a pet peeve of mine is some of these cheaper cases. Uh, the stickers are not installed at the center, so it looks a little wobbly. So for a cleaner look, I decided to remove them. And now for the moment of truth. Just kidding. Everything turned on, it came up fine. Alright guys, and that is the conclusion to our open case streaming build. Thanks for watching, and like always, please make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.